Hello, welcome to Front Page News. Only a few months after Prime Minister Justin Trudeau of Canada advised Germany that supplying the European nation with ethically sourced Canadian gas did not have an economic case, Germany apparently clinched a long-term arrangement with autocratic Qatar to purchase liquefied natural gas. And as a result of the agreement with Qatar Energy, Germany will receive 2 million tons of LNG every year beginning in 2026, a supply that's expected to continue for the next 15 years. You would recall that Olaf Scholz, the Chancellor of Germany, made a diplomatic visit to Canada in August with the high hopes of reaching an energy agreement with Canada as his foreign ally. But in a rather disappointing manner, at a press conference that was held along with Scholz, Trudeau stated openly that there has never been a strong business case for exporting liquefied natural gas from Canada to Europe, which is currently experiencing an energy crisis as a direct result of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. In his opinion, there are a number of potential projects, including one in St. John and some others that are on the books for which there has never been a strong business case because of the distance from the gas fields. Trudeau further stated that the Liberals, in connection with other businesses, were looking at whether or not, given the new circumstances, it makes a good business case to make those investments and whether the arrangement makes sense for Germany to be able to benefit from getting LNG directly from the East Coast. After that, the Prime Minister insisted on taking his German counterpart to Stephenville, Newfoundland, which is where a proposed facility to produce hydrogen gas from wind power would be located. But of course, considering the fact that any groundbreaking is still years away, as well as the fact that hydrogen is still a negligibly small portion of Germany's energy mix, the visit did not appear to result in any particular German enthusiasm for Canadian hydrogen. And in reaction to the poorest business decision of the Liberals, those who disagreed with the accord criticized the Prime Minister for failing to live up to his commitments to the international community during the crisis. Gregory Taubin, Director of Digital Strategy for the Canada Strong and Proud Network, said in an opinion piece that there was a fantastic chance for Canada to assist its European friends and generate billions of dollars while doing so. And seeing that Putin has armed himself with his energy, Trudeau arguably possesses the authority to de-weaponize it and put other autocratic leaders off the idea of attempting something similar in the future. But in a rather unbelievable manner, he's making a conscious decision not to. Meanwhile, the scope and duration of the Qatari oil deal seem to largely contradict the statements made by the Trudeau government that the German government's gas needs were only a short-term stopgap that did not present Canada with any long-term opportunities. And as Qatar hosts the 2022 FIFA World Cup, rising concerns regarding the country's persistent violations of human rights have reached a fever pitch. As a result of the country's status as an Islamist monarchy, Qatar enforces male guardianship laws that prevent women from working in certain government positions or studying outside of the country. And in accordance with the reports of Human Rights Watch, members of the LGBT community have been subjected to physical assault, arbitrary detention, and sexual harassment. In addition to this, the country also has laws that punish blasphemy with up to seven years of imprisonment. At the same time, Hassan al-Thawadi, a senior official in Qatar, made the admission just this week that as many as 500 migrant workers have been killed in construction projects connected to the World Cup over the past 12 years. And in light of this ugly reality, the Qatari deal comes with a fair amount of political awkwardness for Germany, given that Berlin also has been particularly critical of the Gulf state's poor record on human rights. A recent poll found that 65% of Germans believe that Qatar should never have been granted the World Cup, and due to the Gulf state's poor track record regarding human rights, some German bars have refused to show World Cup games. But of course, in the face of Trudeau's unhelpful environmentalist obsession and considering the desperate need to keep citizens from freezing as well as to keep industries running, the German government didn't seem to have much choice. And there goes billions of dollars that could have been cannabis, but of course, this is what happens when a former drama teacher, who's also an extremist, runs the government. By marginalizing Canada's oil and gas, Trudeau has granted Qatar a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity while doubling down on his plan to keep Canadians destitute and raising taxes to fuel inflation. It's just really reprehensible. What's your own view on this? Please let's know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this. Also, share with as many people as possible. And keep in mind that we are always determined to boldly expose the hypocrisy of the left wing and mainstream media while keeping you updated and conscious. See you next upload. Thanks for watching.